This is the first step of making the no-knead sourdough bread. I have put in the bowl three cups of uh, unbleached white flour and two teaspoons of salt and stirred the salt in. And I've measured out um, just about one and five-eighths cup of water. I'm going to add that in just a second. But first I've got this is my starter bowl or my starter jar. I'm just going to stir it down so that I'm measuring starter not bubbles. And I'm going to measure out a good half cup to three to two thirds. Just kind of, it's, it's the consistency of, it's a little bit pourable, but not stiff at all. Okay, so I'll put this in the bowl. And add the water. Stir it up. Now after I stir this up, I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap. I'll probably just push it right down onto the um, dough and then I'll leave it to sit on my counter for um, about 18 hours. Um, just out on the counter, no special heat or anything required. And Sometimes it'll take less, sometimes it'll take more, but it'll it'll fully double-ish. Okay, just stir until the ingredients are moist and you don't see any more flour floating around the bowl. And so it comes out the consistency of a soft biscuit dough. See that consistency? And I'm done until the next step. Okay, so this is step two to the un, uh, no need sourdough bread. I started by preparing the um, baker. Uh, in this case, it's a deep dish um, stoneware from Pampered Chef, uh, oiled and, and uh, cornmeal sprinkled in the bottom. Now I'm going to heavily flour my surface. Don't skimp on the flour. You can scrape it all back into the bowl later. Better than having the dough stick to your surface. Don't leave any holes. All right, now here's my lovely dough. See, it's very sticky still, as it should be. Kind of a soft biscuit dough consistency. Scrape it out onto your floured surface. more flour and sprinkle the top. Enough to handle it. And just spread that around. And then I'm just going to press this out. I'm going to, for this pan, I'll go ahead and keep it in a rectangular form. And I want to get pockets off. If you don't um, take the excess pockets of flour off the top, you'll kind of end up with pockets of flour after it's baked. Okay, four and thirds. And then a little bit here and a little bit there. And I'll flip it over into the pan. I've got some scissors. I'm going to go ahead and snip the top. It helps get a nice rounded loaf. Um, in the rising process, I'm going to allow it to rise for 30 to 60 minutes, covered in a cold oven. After it has raised, or after that time period, um, it's not going to raise a whole huge amount. You don't even have to check it. Um, just leave it in the oven while you turn it on to preheat it at 550. Um, and then reduce the heat after it reaches temperature to 475. Um, leaving the cover on for 18 minutes, then remove the cover, reduce the heat to 450, and um, bake another 18 minutes, remove from the pan, and you're good. Happy baking! The bread is done. Taking it out of the oven.
Isn't that beautiful? All right, and it should come immediately out of the pan. Sometimes easier than others. Okay, we'll just use a little spatula here to loosen it. There, it's loose now. Let it cool for about 15 minutes before you cut into it. Yummy goodness.